Greetings programs, your buddy Dime here again. This time I'm taking you through a few of the lesser known features of the popular ES File Explorer by eStrongs, available on the Android Market, the Amazon App Store, GetJar, and numerous other locations online. So without further ado, let's jump right in here. First thing you're gonna see is your standard run-of-the-mill File Explorer interface. You've got all your folders here, as well as, of course, all the files stored on the root of your SD card. You've got your buttons up here. This will take you to your favorite locations, which you can add and change. The standards are Home, Root, Downloads, and Pictures. You've also got a button up here for Multi-Select, allowing you to choose multiple files to copy and paste with a simple long press. You've also got a button up here for copy, cut, delete. That's if you have the multi-select chosen. If not, they turn back to the standard search, up one level, and this multi-function button here, you can swipe one way or the other to change the functionality of it, going through all the different bookmark manager, disk manager, all the managers, your help, task manager, app manager, security manager. For now, we're going to focus on the app manager, which allows you to back up and reinstall applications to and from the SD card. Nice and handy if you change devices often or if you change ROMs if you're a rooted user. Now, on top of that, speaking of rooted users, Another nice little bit of functionality of ES File Explorer that very few people know about is its root options. If you go down here into the settings at the very bottom, you'll see two options for Root Explorer and Mount File System. Now, it should be pointed out that this is only usable on devices that are already rooted. If you haven't rooted your device, this isn't going to give you access to the root directory and allow you to change things and do any modifications. It's not that type of a program. But if you are rooted, it gives you all sorts of options. For instance, you can go in here to the root of your device and you can move applications from system apps, which are uninstallable through normal means, such as you know your standard calculator, the Google Car Home, uh, some of the other ones here, some of the Barnes & Noble standard applications, and it'll allow you to cut and move them over to your data applications, which are much easier to uninstall and clear off a whole lot of room on your device, which will speed up your system, allow for more apps, basically no end to the benefits. On top of that, you can also go in and change the permissions of the different apps. For instance, if I wanted to change my Go Launcher permissions, I could go down here, change the permissions, and you have little options of user, group, and other for read, write, and execute. So I'm going to go ahead and tick off all the permissions, hit OK, and back on out. Now, all of this root functionality is nice because the only other application that I've seen that's worth mentioning on the Android market, Root Explorer, costs $3.99 versus eStrong's price of absolutely nothing for this wonderful piece of software. Now, for all you non-rooted users out there, there is still more functionality to be had. We can go up here to this top left tab that says Local. Click on that, and you get an option here for LAN, which allows you to browse files on your local network, such as networked PCs or media servers. FTP, which, as it implies, will allow you to upload and download from FTP servers which you have access to allowing you to manage your websites easily and efficiently on the go. Also allows you Bluetooth file browsing so that you can transfer files back and forth from a friend's phone with ease without having to hook it up via USB to the computer. But what we're going to focus on here is the net button. And if you hit that, 
then hit your menu and hit new. It'll allow you to add in servers for either box.net, SugarSync, or Dropbox. And if I know the guys over at eStrongs, they're working hard to add more file server functionality to the next release. But once you've got those set up, you can browse your online directories just as easily if they were actually stored on your device, transferring files back and forth, uploading your photos, backing them up online so that you can free up space. And for you Nexus owners out there that don't have any SD cards, this can give you anywhere from 10 to 50, upwards of 75 gigabytes of extra storage if you work your referral links well enough. So all in all, hands down, this is the first program that I install on any Android device that I get my hands on. The, the functionality of it is beyond compare and you can't beat the price of free so with that being said we hope you've enjoyed this review now head on over to the marketplace link and download it for yourself have a great night everybody and we'll see you next time take care